Hey, what's up guys? This is Mr. Myas. Mr. Myas, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing okay. And hopefully my computer is not choppy and I don't come out looking like Mr. Roboto as it looks like I'm looking in my computer right now. But hey, let's see what it looks like um, today in this video. I am going to show you how to find one variable statistics in GeoGebra. Yeah, I use GeoGebra a lot in my class. I think GeoGebra is pretty, pretty cool for using uh, for finding one variable stats. And uh, but you can do this in a lot of other spreadsheet programs. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to do GeoGebra in this short little video of mine. So here we go. Let's take a look. So previously, I have done something with um, histograms and stem leaf plots, and I had these data here on studying homework. I think I had it on a, on a previous video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these data for males, and I'm going to put them in GeoGebra, and I am going to find the statistics. Now, when I ask we talk about the statistics what I'd like to find are things like the mean and the median and the standard deviation and the variance um, maybe the quartiles first and second quartile all those uh, statistics that allow me to talk about the data that's what I'm going to find so let's go and do that and the way I'm going to do that is I am going to go to GeoGebra and I like using GeoGebra Classic GeoGebra Classic you can do that by going to GeoGebra.org and then clicking on GeoGebra Classic and then I'm going to hit spreadsheet. Bam. All right. The spreadsheet's going to come up and I'm going to put my data in my spreadsheet. And boom, there they are. Bam, like magic. They just appear, right? Uh, or like video editing magic. So what I'm going to do is I have, these are the data for males and in B are my data for females. I just want the data for males. So I could click up here on this little sum Okay, and it'll give me the sum, the mean, the count, the maximum, or the minimum. Eh, that's not very much what I want, so I'd like a little bit more than that. So I'm going to highlight the first column. I'm just doing male um, information. I'm going to do one variable analysis. So one variable analysis. So let me see a histogram. I've done this before in a previous video. But there's this little guy here, this sum x. All right, if you, if you hover over that, it says show statistics. Well, yes, GeoGebra, I would like you to show me some statistics, please, because that's what I'm teaching in this class is statistics. So uh, here I go. Bam, pops up. What do I have? I have N. That's the number of items in my set. The mean or the average, the mathematical average. So what did it do? It added them up, divided by the number of terms. Sigma is the population standard deviation. So if I said that this was my population, a small population, that would be my standard deviation. However, this is more likely a sample. And I believe in my problem, it says the response is to a question. So I asked a sample of people. So my S is my sample standard deviation. Most of the time, if you're dealing with calculator work like this, you're going to use S and not Sigma. Uh, we have the sum of our um, x's, sum of squares. Mm, you might not need to use that in my class anyway. We've got the min, the first quartile. Remember, the first quartile is, is the 25th percentile, meaning that 25% of the data are below this number. The median, smack down in the middle, or the 50th percentile. Q3 is the 75th percentile, meaning that 75% of the data are below that value. And the max. So we could also, if we wanted to, we can look at a box plot. And that would tell us this, this spot right here. Remember, that's the median. And we've got all the places that we need. So those are how to find one variable statistics in your GeoGebra. Now, let's suppose you were doing these two sets. And you wanted to know both of theirs. I would put multiple variable analysis. Now I have a stacked box plot. And I would click the statistics again. And they don't show up up here anymore. They show up down here. So you got, oh, I think I'm covering that up. But we still have all the statistics that we need. Um, notice A here is the males, B is the females. And then all of the statistics that we would want are down there. They're called one variable statistics. Now, you can do some other things, which we will get to later on. There goes my air conditioner, which is telling me it's time to go. So we will see you next time, guys. Hopefully this helps. Later.